Good morning, Cyber Survival Church. I'm Tony Svensson, the co-pastor. I uh, wanted to encourage you with a simple message this morning, uh, something that we've been probably hearing a lot lately. Uh, wash your hands. Seems like a, a very simple solution to a very complex problem. Uh, but it's something that, that we're, we're encouraged to do everywhere we go. Wash our hands, make sure that we're not exposing ourselves to harmful bacteria, uh, the virus. Uh, to keep ourselves clean and, and protect ourselves uh, from getting sick and, and from infecting others. Uh, this is a, also a problem that we've seen throughout history. Uh, in 1818, uh, Philip Simmelweis was born into a world uh, where one in six women were dying in childbirth of something called childbed fever. And so this encouraged was an encouragement to Philip Simmelweis to uh, get educated to be uh, a doctor, and he wanted to solve this problem. And so in his research, uh, one of the things that he found is doctors in this time, uh, in their daily routine, would start the day off by going to the morgue and performing autopsies. Uh, when they would finish the autopsies, uh, they would get, then go and visit with their patients. Uh, many of these patients were women uh, who were going into labor and, and giving birth to children. And they were passing on this bacteria from the morgue to, to these women, and the women were obviously getting sick. And so he came up with a simple solution. He, he, he came up with a chlorine solution, and he encouraged the doctor simply to wash their hands before they went and visited their patients, before uh, they, they would help these women who were going into childbirth. Um, in his own research, um, using this solution, uh, the death rate went from one in six to one in fifty simply by simply by washing their hands and the the doctors though uh, weren't weren't taking his ad advice and so at a uh, conference, Philip Simmelweis speaks, and this is what he says. He says this fever is caused by decomposed material conveyed to a wound. I have shown how it could be prevented. I have proven that all I have said, but while we talk, talk, gentlemen, women are dying. I'm not asking you to do anything world shaking. I'm only asking you to wash your hands. For God's sakes, wash your hands. Um, the doctors, uh, again, they mocked him. They, they, they scorned him for this simple solution to a complex problem. Uh, and Simmelweis died of, of insanity uh, at the age of 47. And, and many people contributed to this idea that the doctors wouldn't listen to his simple uh, advice. Uh, well, the scripture also gives us some simple advice to that we need we need to be cleansed. When we look at the world, uh, we we understand that that sin is a, is a real problem. Uh, coronavirus is is bad, but there but there is a larger problem that we have to deal with: uh, death, which is a result of sin. Uh, because of sin, the world is corrupt. The world is at war. The world. Uh, has death and disease, and the scripture encourages us. James says that we that we need not be lovers of the world, uh, that we need to flee from the things of, of, of the world and the cravings of the world. Uh, and he tells us to submit ourselves to God, and the devil will flee from us. He so tells us to draw near, and he will draw near to us. Cleanse your hands, sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Be miserable and mourn and weep. Let your laughter Turn to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. Now, certainly, uh, for many of us, laughter ha has turned to, to mourning, and we, we grieve, and we weep uh, for those who are hurting and, and suffering right now, and uh, for those who have been infected, for the people working on the front lines who are exposed to this. We, we have great concern and, and worry. Um, but we have to, re to remember in the, in the midst of this, of this time that we have to turn to God. We have to turn to him. Um, ultimately, because he has a simple solution for even, an even greater problem than the coronavirus. And that is the, the simple gospel message that God loved us so much that he came into the world. While we were yet sinners, he died for us. And so my encouragement to you, brothers and sisters, is that uh, that we also have a, a simple solution to a very complex problem. We've been given the gospel of Jesus Christ. And make no mistake, it is the power of God unto salvation to all who will believe. Uh, 
Um, so let's use this time. Let's redeem the time. Let's uh, tell, tell the world that we have a simple solution. Now, many of them will mock us. They will scorn us. Uh, but we have, we have to press on. We have to tell them that, that Jesus came, that he died for their sins, that he rose again from the grave. And we can be cleansed. We can be made new. Um, that we can have joy even in the midst of pain and suffering because we know that, that not even death can separate us from the love of God. So I would encourage you to, to share, share this message, share the gospel with your friends, your family, tell them that you have a simple solution to, to the world's problems. And, and we have hope and joy and peace in our lives because we have faith in Jesus Christ. May God bless you and may the gospel go forth through uh, you and may many come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. God bless you.